somebody to date with, whether it kills you or not. You ever stop to watch some of these TV shows? They're actually quite good. <laughs> yes, that would quite terrify me as well. <laughs> Looks like we got the Romantic Rendezvous and the Terror TV all at the same time. How are you doing, kiddo? Get that point, and then we can empty your bladder, and Auntie Ellen can put you to bed. Wouldn't that be fun? And you're drinking your drink. Looking pretty cool in your top, All right? And Right, you hardly know yeah, Ivan Roberts, so give him a chat, give him a call, and we will see how we go with that. Excellent. Master musician, use potty chair. And then Auntie Ellen can come out from behind the sofa and put you to bed. And she's going to hate every moment of it. Uh, there's not nearly enough films on this one. Okay, right, excellent. And put Tallulah in the crib. Then we think we're going to need to sort you out. That's Damien doing. Oh, he's chatting away. It's going to be a slight problem that because I think, unfortunately, Damien's personality is going to get in the way of a lot of this. All right, enough of that. There we go. So you put Dr. Tallulah in the crib. Empty that. Instant unhappy coming on here. We need to do with you. We need to. You need to use the loo. You need to use the shower. And you need to grab yourself some to eat. Eat leftovers. Have some mac and cheese. There we go. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, what lifetime reward can we get you? Is there anything at the five thousand range that's any good for you at all? The uh, legendary host, not really. Festival for no, eye candy. Inappropriate in a good way might be good for. I uh, actually inappropriate in a good way actually seems like a good character choice for Ellen. Uh, office hero. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's get observant. Everyone should get observant to start off with, unless you're Damien. Okay, this has to be seen. There's Damien doing his funky thing on the dance floor. Alright, one last try. Invite over. We actually we really need to get Damien to know some people. Then Tallulah by association might learn some as well. And uh, yeah. Only minus ten mood. Okay, I think I'm gonna live with that. I must admit I was expecting more. Um baby Tallulah. Definitely need some sleep. Uh -huh. How long do you age up now? Two it's nearly midnight. <laughs> I think you're right, actually. Right, have you found that woman yet? No, but I think I found a couple of men. A 
Apollo Bloom. Hmm. What the heck? Uh, okay, you eat your hot wings, and then I think we will actually get you dancing on the table. Why not? Okay, guys. It's official. Ellen can sing better than Damien, but only by a little bit. I'd like to teach the world to study. Mm. Oh, hit the wrong button anyway. Come home, doesn't matter. What's up with you? Ah, uh, you're hungry. Okay, when Daddy comes home, he'll give you some to eat, and then we'll put you back to sleep. Or, actually, we'll let you sleep a bit, and then feed you later on. One or the other. Okay, you... Use that. Eat some mac and cheese, and then you go to bed. And... Auntie Ellen... It's time for you just to go to bed. I don't know, but we will definitely try it out soon because Damien has got to be a party animal. Um, I clicked on the wrong button by mistake, but uh, it was a bit of a waste of time him being there. That place was totally dead, wasn't it? Right, here comes. Grabbana. Damien Grabbana. License to lick my own eyebrows. Mm. I love this about the Sims, okay? He's not a tidy Sim, so they were reading a book there, and he walked past the bookshelf all the way around here to put the book down there. You've got to love Sim logic. Right, speed this up a little bit. We're going to have a grumpy Tallulah in the morning, but I think we'll be alright. Okay, and... Yeah, Ellen's actually been moderately successful, which is quite surprising me, as a matter of fact. Right, do you need to work today? You were working today, okay. And we should really get Damien out to get some ghosts as well. Make some money so we can do this house up, make it look prettier because it's a bit disgusting at the moment. Alright. Somebody's hungry. Alright, so let's sort uh, Tallulah out. Uh, feed on four. Change outfit into everyday. Oh, actually, let's do that the other way around. And then feed on floor. And then you can go back to bed, my boy. You can go back to bed. Uh, you know, this place here where the magic has repeatedly failed to happen. You can go back there. I'm hungry, Daddy. I'm hungry. Come on. There we go. Good girl. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Alright, hurry back to bed and get those pyjamas out of our eyes. Right, excellent, and that'll keep going for a little bit. Um, no, I don't really have the money. Why did you decide that you didn't want to go to bed? Why don't you just go to bed? Sleep. There we go. 
Excellent. You'll cheer up in a little bit. And you are in pretty good shape. And I think the next time we play this, we're going to go to China with her. And she can become Ellen Grabner, martial arts goddess. Right, what should we do with you? I think I know what we're going to do with you. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. That's what we're going to do with you. That's the one I want. Okay, I want you. Why don't you read your book? Read your little book. Because Daddy quite clearly just left it there. He didn't. We didn't magically elevate it from the li uh, the kitchen in any way whatsoever. There we go. Right, let's speed things up a little bit. Let's get through to the morning and do all the bits that Laura just puts in a cutscene. Away we go. You get some fun out of that, I hope you are. Yeah, loads of fun. Excellent. Okay, what state are you in? You're in pretty good shape, aren't you? And you need to go to work today, but not for several hours. So, change into everyday one and go and work on your charisma a little bit. Go. I'd like you to all understand that a vote for Ellen is a vote for common sense, it's a vote for studying hard, it's a vote for working hard, it's a vote for making your government work for you, work hard for you. So vote Ellen, you know it makes sense. Yep, she is going to lead the free world. Let's be honest here. How are you doing, my dear? Oh, you should be enjoying that book. Excellent. Obviously, this, this this open plan room is a slightly messy kitchen. It will mess everything up, and I've just noticed that. Uh, yeah, the flooring is a little bit off. Uh, let's do something about that. That's right. Okay, so. Clear all that out. And refloor it. And yeah, that looks better. Okay, alright. Uh, no, we still don't quite have enough money. I was going to put a carpet in. Somebody's still sleeping hard. Right, Ellen can now use amusing greets. Try to sim over. That doesn't seem like your sort of thing. Catch an insect, possibly. Hmm. Nope. Uh. Right, Ellen, you grab yourself some leftovers. And how are you doing for work now? Okay, that's made. Yep, your work situation a bit happier. She's absolutely adorable, isn't she? Adorable. And she'll end up tomorrow, but I don't think I'm going to be able to carry on with this much longer. I am getting rather tired, a little bit hoarse at the throat. So probably going to call this quits in another 10 minutes or so. And Damien, okay, you have a shower. You eat some leftovers. Renoir grapes pancakes. Sounds interesting. Uh, no, you haven't got over 5,000 yet. And actually, I think we're going to start you talking to people again, so... 
chat and chat. Let's see if uh, that charisma working for you. And Ellen's off to work soon. That's excellent. Right, let's stop you doing that. Get yourself some food before you go off to work and then you'll be in a better mood. Excellent. Yeah, but only for another 10 minutes or so. So your timing is excellent. Okay, Melody Flower, you take care of yourself and I'll talk to you soon, I hope. Yep, yeah, I'd be perfectly fine a little bit. I've just been talking since five o'clock. So that's coming up eight hours. Mm, can you just imagine what that conversation is going to be like? It's scary to think about it, really, isn't it? Right, what's up with you? Ooh, somebody go wee wee. And stop reading the book and use the potty chair. It's like somebody's going to need a bit of attention from Daddy anyway, so after you use the potty chair, we'll sort you out. Right, tidy up here. Yeah. And we'll do the chatting in a little bit. You off to work, that's excellent. And Ellen, did you make it in time? Just in time, look at that. Okay, and you can change a nappy, snuggle, and Tickle and toss in the air and put to bed. And that should sort her out. And then we'll get you back to uh, charming in the natives. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daddy's coming. Ignore call, there we go. Always takes me forever to find that one, I don't know why. Alright, let's get Grumpy Tallulah turned into Happy Tallulah. There we go, all looking good. We'll feed you later on. Because what you need first is a bit of sleep. <laughs> and Daddy can empty that. And then Daddy can go and find some people to play with himself. There we go. Yeah, that, that's, that's one that's always bothered me. It's a bit weird. She was actually supposed to be crying at that point, but uh, there was no animation for it. All you got was uh, Damien thinking, hmm, this child is crying. Right, and there we go, Damien. You stand out in the rain there and you make your phone calls. <laughs> So, uh, speed this up a little bit. How are you doing? Are you actually making any headway with her at all? Of course, if she is absent-minded, she probably forgets about these conversations almost immediately. Ah, yeah, there we go. The friendship bar is going up. Hi, 
Ivan didn't seem to be very impressed by the love letter, did he? <laughs> you still seem to like in the chat a bit better, mind, so that's good. Okay, let's have a look at you and see what state you're in. Uh, it's fairly obvious what you need. Use and clean. Let's clean this place up. Ellen has left her orders. And what should we do with you then? Um, right, you actually need logic, which seems a little bit odd to me with uh, uh, you know, Damien being logical, but let's give him a, a, a read of the logic book. Here we go. Read that. There we go. It's very romantic, but quite frankly, I've broken three mobile phones that way. Right, come on, let's speed you up a little bit. Right, and Ellen, how are you doing? Let's get you working hard for the rest of the day. And as soon as you come back, we'll probably go and do some of that Ghost Hunter stuff. In fact, I'm actually thinking about it. I might do that next time. That's what I was looking for. It'll work. Okay, so we are actually a good step into uh, getting a job. So you will get promoted tomorrow. Is good you need feeding which daddy Damien can do to you afterwards and why the hell not you've earned it you're the breadwinner Damien can't be bothered to go to work anyway, so why didn't you go to a lounge? Why didn't you go to a lounge which is not run by uh, vampires? There we go. Right, and I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Next time we play The Sims 3, somebody ages up. Somebody does something useful, though that's very unlikely, and somebody goes to China. Oh. Well, I have to go anyway, and thanks a lot for coming along, 1234 Smile Day. I hope you've had fun. In fact, I hope everyone's had fun. So... I'll say thank you very much for coming along. Um, Merry Boxing Day now, and... Take care of yourselves, and I hope I see you soon. Night-night.